Hello, everybody. How are you? Uh, so, this is another prediction video, boxing prediction, of course. And uh, this next Saturday, we have three fights that are worth talking about. Uh, first one is a heavyweight fight. It's Joseph Parker meeting, facing off against unbeaten Junior Fa, or F however you pronounce it. Another Samoan based in New Zealand and born in New Zealand. <coughs> so this guy Junior Fa is 19 and old with 10 knockouts. He's, he's an inch taller than Parker, 6'5". He's got an, uh, a four and a half inch reach advantage, which could be uh, telling. But this is his first true uh, test. He's fought before uh, Dominic Gwynn. He beat on points, and but Gwynn was already, of course, <coughs> not at his best. <coughs> He also stopped the new fellow Wata in one round. So, you know, he looks kind of promising, even though he might be a little slow. You know. He was put knocked down against Gwyn actually once, but otherwise, he won by a, you know, a comfortable margin. And uh, Joseph Parker, well, he is. Uh, his last fight was against Shondell Winters. You know, uh, I believe that was the same guy that Alan Babic last uh, beat. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, so before that he stopped Le Alex Leapai in 10 rounds. But uh, yeah. He hasn't had a fight for a year, so that last fight against Winters was on 29th of February last year. <coughs> you know, the thing with Joseph Parker, he's very talented, of course, but uh, sometimes he just hasn't really risen up to the occasion, hasn't really uh, fulfilled his potential, I guess. I guess one of his problems is that um he's not uh <laughs> he can hit hard but he's not a, a really one punch you know, hitter he's not exceptionally hard and uh he's not so big for uh, today's he heavyweight either you know so he's six four but they are like six 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 seven like guys that he often has to face you know so <clears throat> uh, and to be Completely honest, when he fought Joshua, I thought he looked a little shorter than 6'4". I thought the difference looked a little bigger than just a couple of inches. But anyway, uh, I think he is more likely 6'3", uh, maybe half or something. But still, you know, he's a talented guy and uh, he can box, he can hit hard enough, but he's just not a a true destroyer type, I guess. <clears throat> and this guy, Junior Fa, well, on paper, I can only comment because I haven't seen him fight yet, but uh, he was not able to put you know, an old Dominic Gwynn away, so, but still, Gwynn has never been stopped before, so that doesn't say that much, but he wasn't able to stop him. <coughs> But he still hasn't scored that many knockouts, you know, like I said, uh, just a little more than half of his wins are by KO, so, yeah, this fight, he's 31 also already, while Parker is still 25, 29, sorry, of course I favor Parker to win here because simply on paper, he's the better. I mean, he's the better fighter. I I think, and uh, <clears throat> but this may be you know a competitive fight still. You know, yeah, most likely it will be. 
it's for 12 rounds so I don't know really <coughs> I kind of expect it to go the distance but uh, maybe Parker can score a stoppage also uh, but he will have to really you know really let his hands go and you know, be very aggressive and, yeah but still be careful of course he can always be caught <coughs> So actually, so yeah, my prediction is that Joseph Parker wins some points, most likely. All right, and then uh, this is uh, this other fight. Second one was uh, at super flyweight. <coughs> no, sorry, flyweight. And uh, Julio Cesar Martinez versus Mac Williams Royal. Arroyo, yeah. Yeah, so Julio Cesar is the defending WBC champion. Yep. <laughs> he hasn't had a fight so long long ago. It was on October 23rd last year when he beat Moises Calleros in two rounds only to defend that title that he won against Christopher Christopher Rosales in 2019. So this is his third defense. His record is 17-1-0. Uh, uh, 13 KOs. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, his only loss was in his very first fight and it was a split decision in <laughs> four rounds. While Mr. Arroyo, he uh, has got 20 wins 15 by knockout and 4 losses he also hasn't been stopped uh, he's a taller man by 2 inches um, <coughs> but uh, the problem is uh, well you know he has proven to be a pretty good fighter you know and uh, he's uh, <coughs> given guys like I'm not through and rowing a close fight and uh, and he was only schooled by Roman Gonzalez, yeah, I guess, Chocolatito, so... Um, he's, uh, but he's kind of getting on in age, he's 35, and uh, Martinez is only 26, so, you know, everything except the height is in his favor, the reach is identical, by the way. <coughs> <coughs> So I don't know if since <laughs> Arroyo has not been stopped yet, you know, I, I think it's safest to bet on a points victory for uh, Julio Cesar Martinez, El Rey. All right, and now to the main fight finally. <laughs> Saul Alvarez versus Avni Yildirim. <coughs> So yeah, that's the correct pronunciation of that name, Avni Yildir, that's his, yeah, if anybody was wondering. Uh, <coughs> I believe Yildir means something like lightning or something, but it, that's his real name. Alright, so Sal Alvarez, of course, the almighty <laughs> Canelo who now is 30 years of age <coughs> is <a coughs> fighting uh, this is a uh, fight with two titles at stake actually the WBC super middleweight title and WBC super super middleweight title so yeah so <laughs> You know, Avni Avni Yildirim has been knocked out, of course, by Chris Eubank in a devastating fashion in <laughs> three rounds back in 2017. Yeah, that's right. But since then, he has been fighting kind of you know lower level fighters, and he also lost to Anthony Dirrell by a technical decision in 2019 so he hasn't fought for almost exactly two years 
So this is a very, very tall order for Yildir. <coughs> Just a moment. I believe he has like, uh, yeah, he's got three and a half inch height advantage. Um, 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 but no reach advantage, so that's gonna be a problem. I I simply don't see how <laughs> how he can win. I mean, there's no other way I can see it going but a dominant Canelo performance and a stoppage within six or seven rounds, eight tops. I don't think he will even last eight. You know, if <laughs> if Eubank was able to get him out in three rounds. Yeah, I know it was <coughs> a little bit like a perfect punch, but still, you know, Canel is you know ke perfectly capable of delivering perfect punches, you know, all night long. So, uh, yeah, I think it will be within the first six rounds. Yeah, it will be another devastating loss for Yildirim and. Uh, <coughs> I simply don't know how he got this this shot, this fight. <laughs> to put it, to put it, uh, you know, that way. To be perfectly honest, I think it's a really a terrible mismatch because Yildirim is nowhere near Canelo's, uh, you know, caliber or or uh, yeah level, and. Um, with Callum Smith, it was different. You know, Callum was a <clears throat> unbeaten and a world champion, and much, much larger, much taller. But uh, the reason he didn't perform so well, I guess, he was he was kind of outgrowing the division, and uh, Canel was simply faster, a better technician, and all that. So, yeah. But uh, Hillary will just be destroyed. I mean, it will be. It can even end as as quickly as you know. I don't know. <laughs> it, two three rounds maybe. But uh, I trust Hillary will at least be able to make it past. You know, into the the early middle rounds. Yeah. All right. So that was. That was the one for now, this weekend. See you around. Bye-bye.